Davina Smith is here now with the afternoon news and there's new details emerging about a brutal murder in Sydney. Davina. Yeah, that's a terrible story, Amber. The police are looking for our help. Good afternoon. Police have released security vision. It's from the night a 41-year-old woman was murdered in the city's west in an attempt to track down her killer. Prabha Arang Kumar was attacked while walking home from work on Saturday night. The Indian National got off a train at Parramatta Railway Station and was just metres from her Westmead home when she was killed. Now, police are appealing for anyone with information to contact Crime Stoppers. Our reporter is following the story and we will have the latest developments with her life shortly. We'll take you to breaking news now from Victoria where two people have been killed in a crash this afternoon. A woman and a boy died in the incident. Two girls have been flown to hospital in Melbourne with life-threatening injuries. This crash occurred just after two o'clock at Molesworth, northeast of Melbourne. The vehicle rolled on the Goulburn Valley Highway. The cause is yet to be determined. Well, still to come on Nine's Afternoon News, Miracle Rescue, a baby saved after spending 14 hours trapped in the wreck of a car crash. And a new cyclone looks set to hit Queensland, so when will it arrive? We'll have the details for you up next. There has been a truly remarkable story of survival in the US. A baby girl has been found alive in a freezing river 14 hours after a terrible crash that killed her mother. This 18-month-old baby girl might not be alive tonight if not for a chance encounter. And inundate them with suggestions. Still ahead on Nine's Afternoon News, police step up their search for a killer who stabbed a woman to death in Sydney. Was it a random attack? We're live with the details for you next. Plus, did you own a computer in the 80s? Well, that was the last time Centrelink had an IT upgrade. Now, the new technology that will see faster payments and see routers caught out quicker. And the bizarre, dangerous stunt that almost stopped time at Big Ben. You're watching Nine's Afternoon News. Here's what's making news right now. The final heartbreaking moments of a Sydney mother caught on CCTV cameras minutes before she was killed in a random attack. We'll have the details on the public appeal for information next. Centrelink is set to receive its first computer upgrade since the 1980s, designed to make faster payments and catch out routers. And a violent fugitive is on the run in Victoria. Our reporter is live with the details of the mass manhunt shortly. Well, Sydney police are seeking help from the public to track down the person responsible for brutally murdering a 41-year-old mother. Let's go live to Nine's Renee Henry's at the scene for us at Westmead. Renee, detectives have released security vision from the night of the incident. Tell us more. Well, up next on Nine News, trouble breathing? The Australian breakthrough that requires no surgery and just 15 minutes of your time, and it's changing lives. Also, how a selfless act by one woman is saving the lives of six people. And living with the in-laws, could you do it? Well, the Middletons, they're moving in with Will Kate and baby George. Doctors in Melbourne are helping emphysema sufferers breathe a little easier with a quick and simple new treatment. Emily Rice has the story. Emphysema is a serious lung condition that causes debilitating shortness of breath. Nevertheless, boy, this is turning into an interesting few months. Well, still to come on Nine's Afternoon News, Federal Treasurer Joe Hockey hits back in court amid bribery allegations and claims he's for sale to corporate donors. Also, could expired batteries really be to blame for the mystery surrounding missing flight MH370? And Lavinia, with your forecast for the week ahead, live from Melbourne's Moomba Festival. Right now. Thanks, Eddie. Coming up, footballer Greg Bird fights cocaine charges. Treasurer Joe Hockey takes on Fairfax Media in court. Reunited, families visit the condemned Bali Nine pair and the Aussies through to World Cup Cricket's quarterfinal. That's next. NBN News, the voice of experience. Treasurer Joe Hockey has taken to the witness stand in the federal court today, claiming he was defamed by a series of newspaper articles which he says accused him of corruption from the asteroid belt. Wow. We'll check the weather now with Lavinia Nixon, who's at Melbourne's Moomba Festival for us this afternoon. Lavinia, how's it looking? 
Hi Davina, it's a great atmosphere down here in the midst of Moomba celebrations. It's the last day of this three day festival and this morning kicked off with the traditional parade featuring beautiful floats and hundreds of participants. This afternoon we've enjoyed everything from the Moomba Masters water skiing to kids puppet shows to musical acts on the main stage. Now there has been a few clouds about but luckily it has stayed dry reaching a top of 24 degrees. It's been a mixed day around the country. Sydney's been mostly sunny, 31. Partly cloudy in Brisbane, 32. Adelaide's had a clearing shower, 25. And storms and showers continued right across the north. In fact, there is a chance that a monsoon trough in the Coral Sea will develop into a cyclone over the coming days. Elsewhere, a slow-moving trough over inland Queensland and New South Wales will cause widespread storms over the coming week. I'll have the full forecast later in the bulletin, Davina. See you soon, Lavinia. We'll stay with us still to come on Nine's Afternoon News from a high-flying Melbourne math student to Islamic State fighter. The frightening radicalisation of an Australian high school dropout. Also, inquest findings into the tragic nursing home fire in Sydney that claimed 11 lives was the building design partially to blame. And should four Gold Coast Titans players facing cocaine charges be allowed to return to the playing field? A reporter is live with that story for you next. You're watching Nine's Afternoon News and these are our top stories. A woman and a boy have been killed in a horror crash northeast of Melbourne while two girls have been flown to hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police have released security vision showing the final moments of a Sydney woman before she was killed in a random attack on the weekend. And a costly overdue upgrade to Centrelink software is set to hit taxpayers hard but it will see faster payments and more rorters caught out. A mother and her son have died and two other children. They're in hospital following a crash northeast of Melbourne this afternoon. Nine's Andrew Nelson is outside Melbourne's Royal Children's Hospital and joins us. Andrew, just take us through what happened. They have certainly suffered a crippling personal loss. It is a big story in Sydney and Ellie will have the latest for viewers tonight at six. OK, sport time now with Yvonne Sampson and the turmoil continues around the Sea Eagles. Tell us more. Yeah, it does, Davina. They're rallying around their halfback daily. Cherry Evans will hear what his teammates have to say next. And runs galore as Australia books a World Cup quarter-final spot. We have breaking news in Sydney now and the shark alarm has just been sounded at Bondi Beach. These shots have just come in from our Nine News helicopter showing the scene from the air. Swimmers have been ordered out of the water. Jet skis have been deployed in an attempt to find that shark and we will keep you up to date with all the developments as they come into the newsroom. Time for sport though with Vonnie. Thanks, Davina. Well, to cricket and Australian players have touched down in Hobart vowing to continue their World Cup run fit by a single stroke. And that's it for all our sport this afternoon, Davina. Busy afternoon, Bonnie. Thank you very much. Well, still to come on Nine's Afternoon News, finance and the latest weather with Lavinia Nixon, who joins us live from Melbourne's Moomba Festival. And Lavinia, how's the weather holding up? Davina, we've had patchy cloud all day, but in the last hour it has increased. But the good news is that it will stay dry for the fireworks this evening. I'll have all the forecasts for around the country after the break. Hello again from Melbourne's Moomba Festival, where despite a little bit of grey cloud, conditions have stayed fine. It's a different story around the country, though, with a fair bit of unsettled weather. A trough in the east is pulling in a lot of moisture from the Tasman Sea, and that's resulting in showers and storms for inland Queensland and northern New South Wales. Now, it's very slow moving, and by Wednesday, those storms will be even more widespread, affecting almost all of New South Wales. Further north, there is the potential for a tropical cyclone to form over the next few days, but in the west, stormy conditions are finally easing. Since late February, moisture buildup from ex-tropical cyclone LAM has brought record rain to parts of WA. Over the past week, totals of 100 to 200 millimetres have not been uncommon through the Pilbara and Gascoigne. But over the coming days, drier southeasterly winds will drive that moisture away, lessening the chance of storms. Tomorrow, a ridge of high pressure will keep conditions stable through South Australia, Victoria, Victoria and Tasmania and that trough over Queensland and New South Wales will continue to move slowly in a northeasterly direction bringing showers and storms right through inland areas. And taking a look at the capitals tomorrow a few early showers for Sydney partly cloudy in Melbourne and Brisbane fine and sunny in Perth 
cloud clearing for Adelaide, breaks of sun for both Hobart and Adelaide, and afternoon storms for Darwin, but just light falls up to two millimetres. Now the countdown is on for tonight's fireworks display, which will mark the end of Moomba 2015. Have a great evening, Davina. I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy it, Lavinia. Thank you. Checking finance for you now, and the Australian share market has tumbled. That's with speculation of an interest rate hike in the US, scaring investors. The All Ordinaries finished down 75 points today. And in currency, one Aussie dollar, it's worth 78 US cents, 93 Japanese yen, and 51 British pence. And that is Nine's afternoon news. Our next bulletin is now at six o'clock. And for all our stories, you can head to our website, ninenews.com.au. I'm Davina Smith. Have a great evening. Evening. We hope to see you tomorrow.